Hello everyone, welcome to our special techno channel. Last session we talked about the concepts of SLD and the first part of defining the styles for point feature types. In this session, we will talk around the second part of the creation of point styles by Joe Server. If you want to know more details about it, watch the rest of this video. Point with default label. How can you represent textual attributes on maps? The text symbolizer associates a label with a point using an attribute value as the label source. This example shows a text label on the simple point that displays the name attribute of the point. Click on the new style from style section, then enter default label in the name field. From the list of default styles, select point option, then click on the generate link. Replace the text inside the title element with simple points with default labels. Point symbolizer element on line 24, press enter, then add the text symbolizer element at the new line. Inside it, you have to specify which field of the layer attributes will be used to extract text strings. Be aware that the attribute's name is case sensitive. Next, enter the codes that you see in the screen. The label is set in the text symbolizer on lines 25 to 29. Lines 26 to 28 determine what text to display in the label, which in this case is the value of the name attribute. All other details about the label are set to the renderer default, which here is Times New Roman font, font color black, and font size of 10 pixels. The bottom left of the label is aligned with the center of the point. Click on Validate to check if you misspelled something. When it returns no errors, click on the Apply button. Switch to the Layer Preview section and click on the layer name above the Preview box. Then select the Schools layer. Point with the Style Label This example improves the label style from the point with default label example by centering the label above the point and providing a different font name and size. Click on Add a New Style from the Style section, then enter Style Label in the Name field. Select Default Label Style from the existing style, then click on the Copy link. This example contains many more details about the label styling than the previous example. Replace the text inside the title element with simple points with the style labels. At the end of the label element at line 28, press enter. Then add these codes that you see on the screen. Lines 29 to 34 set font information. Line 30 sets the font family to be Arial. Line 31 sets the font size to 12. Line 32 sets the font style to normal, as opposed to italic. And line 33 sets the font weight to bold, as opposed to normal. To determine the placement of the label relative to the point, enter the codes that you see on the screen.
The anchor point, lines 37 to 40, sets the point of intersection between the label and point, which here, line 38 and 39, sets the point to be centered 0 0.5, horizontally axis, and button aligned 0 vertically with the label. There is also displacement, lines 41 to 44, which sets the offset of the label relative to the line, which in this case is 0 pixels horizontally, line 42, and 5 pixels vertically, line 43. Press enter at the end of the line 46, and finally to set the font color of the label at the fill element according to screen. Here we set it to blue. The result is centered both label placed slightly above each point. Click on validate to check if you misspelled something. When it returns no errors, click on save button. Navigate to the layer section and click on the schools layer. Then switch to the publishing tab and select site label as default site. Also, from an additional style section, double click on the struck point, transparent star, and graphic point styles to add them to the selected style box. Then click on the save button. Open the layer preview map. Your map is still presenting the style label style. Click on the button on the top left of the map to show the options toolbar. From the Styles drop-down list, select the available styles. Your map will suddenly be updated with the new style. Attribute Base Point In this example, the size of the symbol alters based on the attribute's value. In other words, this style contains some rules that each rule varies the style based on the value of the CAD attribute for each point. Click on Add a new style from a Styles page. An inter attribute base point in the name field. Select simple point style from the existing styles. Then click on the copy link. At the end of the rule element at line 12, press enter, then add a name element at the new line and enter low value for the rule's name. At line 14, replace the text inside the title element with less than 10, then press enter. Add these codes that you see on the screen. These lines set this filter with line 16 to 19 setting the less than filter, line 17 denoting the attribute cat, and line 18 the value of 10. The symbol sets to a circle in line 24. The color is dark green at line 26. And the size is 8 pixels in diameter, line 29. The second rule specifies a style for points whose cat attribute is greater than or equal to 10. To define it, copy the entire contents from first rule and paste in line 33. Now let's edit it. Replace the name and title elements to high value and greater than or equal to 10 on lines 34 and 35 respectively. Edit the property is greater than or equal to element at lines 37 and 40 and also the value of cat to 10 on line 39.
Finally, change the size of the displayed graphic to 12 pixels in line 50. The result of this rule is that cities with larger population have larger points. Click on validate to check if you misspelled something. When it returns no errors, click on the apply button. Switch to the publishing section and click on the schools flag to make this style the default for the layer. Click on the save button. Go to the layer preview section and open up the open layers preview for the schools layer. Your map should now look as shown in the screen. Zoom based point. This example alters the style of the points at different zoom levels. That means you need to write the map scale for which zoom you want to show or hide the styling. Click on add a new style from the styles page and enter zoom based point in the name field. Select simple point aside from the existing sites. Then click on the copy link. Replace the text inside the title element with large outline turned in. Then at the end of this element, press enter and add a max scale denominator element as you see on the screen. This rule is for the smallest scale denominator corresponding to when the view is zoomed in. The scale rule is set on line 14, so that the rule will apply on any map with a scale denominator of 140,000 or less. Replace the graphic symbol to a cross, line 18, colored purple, with a size of 12 pixels, line 23. The second rule is the intermediate scale denominator corresponding to when the view is partially zoomed. To define the second rule, copy the entire contents from the first rule and paste in line 27. Now let's edit it. Replace the title elements to medium in lines 28. At line 29, replace the mean scale denominator element and at the end of this line, press enter. Then add the max scale denominator element and its value as you see. The scale rules are set on lines 29 and 30, so that the rule will apply to any map with a scale denominator between 140,000 and 275,000. The min scale denominator is inclusive and max scale denominator is exclusive. So a zoom level of exactly 275,000 would not apply here. Aside from the scale, the only difference between this rule and the first is the size of the symbol, which is set to 10 pixels on line 39. The third rule is largest scale denominator corresponding to when the map is zoomed out. To define it, press enter at the end of the rule element at line 42. Then copy the entire contents from first rule again and paste in line 43. Now let's edit it. Replace the title elements to small in lines 44. In line 45, replace the mean skill denominator element and set its value to 275,000. Finally, change the size of the displayed graphic to 8 pixels in line 54. The result of this style is that points are drawn larger as one zooms in and smaller as one zooms out. Click on validate to check if you misspelled something. When it returns no errors, click on the apply button. Switch to the publishing section and instead of making the default style for the schools layer, select the associate option as shown in the screen. Then click the save button. Open the layer preview map. Your map is still present in the default style. Click on the button on the top left of the map to show the options toolbar. From the styles dropdown list, select zoom base point. Your map will suddenly be updated with the new style. In this 
session we lend you the second part of creating the point styles with SLD in Joe Saver. It's our pleasure that you subscribe to our channel and watch the videos. Also, if you would like to know more information around the concepts of SLD and simple point styles, we recommend you to watch the suggested video. Have a great time!